Hello everybody, welcome back to my Morocco playthrough of Europa Universalis 4. My name is Cilantro, I'm going for the Georgia On My Mind achievement, wherein I own all three Georgias on the map. Last time we were starting to expand our colonial efforts, trying to appease as much as we can our enemies in Europe, Castile and Portugal in particular, and otherwise just trying to rebuild. And it looks like Portugal has officially formed uh, Brazil. That actually means that this right here is, is Brazil. Um, so we've got to be very wary of that. Now one thing we may be able to do here, and this could take some finagling, I may be able to declare war on Portuguese Brazil, take that over, and may, I don't know if it'll allow Portugal to bring in their allies. I'm not concerned about going to war yet, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm more just thinking towards the future. Uh, I'd rather do that than then take Portugal head on, but I, I would like to eventually own a lot more of South America. I want to continue wrapping around the coast, though, because coasts are really the easiest and maybe even the only way for other countries to get in. Portugal always aggressively expands, but if I can get uh, more territory here, it'll make it less likely for anybody else to be able to expand efficiently. So. And there's still... Not really liking me all that much. I'm going to improve with Yao just because I can. Um, Zab would still be viable, but there's no way I'm going to get up to 190 rep with them, unfortunately. Mamluk's still in good shape. Just checking all my relations. Let's improve with Hungary. Why not? Doubt I'll ever get anything from either of these guys, but no use having my diplomats sitting around doing nothing. Actually, speaking of... Let me see if this is a native tribe indeed, and if it is, I'm going to go after them. Actually, to that end, let's just pull back from Hungary. There's there's nothing there for me. <laughs> Quite simply. It is. Okay. Is there a way to see what, what who all they're in federation with? Federation with Tunisia, so it's with those guys. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that they will actually join in together. I, it probably does. To that end, let's increase our army maintenance for a little bit. We got some money, so we can afford to do it. That is great news. Get our troops all maxed out here. I'm sure Conquistador had better military stats. Five percent. Yeah, let's see if I can't drop down. Definitely falling behind in Diplotech, but it's not really that big of a deal. Yes, I would like to have a naval power, obviously, but uh, for now, I'm not overly concerned about it. It's much more important to me that I continue to colonize as much as possible. England going in on Flanders, huh? Interesting. Wow, they're actually expanding quite aggressively, even in the mainland. Burgundy's fighting them. Okay. Any chance of uh, an alliance? Nope. Also kind of curious, too. I should be paying attention to who all will come, on an, come in on a war deck against certain people. I like how these don't count as, like Tunis doesn't count as a distant, I mean, I guess Castile is on the same continent and much closer, so I guess that makes sense. Still, it just seems silly that this is not as far as that. Oh, what happened here? Oh! Oh, hello! I, that's a thing? Please continue to be utterly inept. I would love to have this land back due to Separatists. That would be amazing. All right, exploration complete. You can go explore the Car Caribbean. Because I need to start jumping up that way. I think one of my colonies, one of my colonists will continue to expand this area. And the other one is just going to straight up um, head up towards the north. 
Because if I can start co colonizing Georgia before anybody else, that is better for me. You're going to be sitting there ready for a blockade. 12 troops at tech level 2. I do have a cannon now, which will be huge. I think I'm ready to declare. Yeah, they're definitely going to come in as a federation. That's alright, though. I picked up a general. Quite a good general, actually. Still no match for my advanced troops. I may actually lose this colony, come to think of it. Yeah, if they, if they, I believe if they take that, then I actually lose it. I will bribe an advisor. Oh, huh! Wow, they actually did just straight up take it. That's kind of funny. That actually might work in my favor. Because now I can just take it as part of their land when I get a settlement for this. Huh. Assuming I have enough troops to actually do it. This may be interesting. guys here. I'm getting beat up a little bit. i still like to earn some extra cash. Alright, I'm going to let them sort of suck their thumbs for a little bit and let my troops do the same. Actually, can I... I sure can build some cannons. Let's build some cannons over here. That'll make this fight a lot easier. I may be able to separate piece these guys and grab their land anyway. If that works, I may have to use that as a trick. Like, don't, don't even finish it. Just plop it down, declare war, let them take it so it turns into a province instead of a colony. That's that's kind of that's kind of kind of neat, actually. <laughs> Yeah, just to build war score, I'm going to blockade here. I may need to be worried about a combined stack of troops. That could be a little scary. Pretty impressed. We're putting up quite a fight. As soon as these cannons are done, um, I'm gonna actually hire some mercenaries here. I think just to make sure I seal the deal. So my troops aren't really reinforcing that quickly. one group of let's see your house my okay I'll make a oh can't hire Mer can't hire mercs never mind uh what about if I do it over here my transports are around yes okay well hopefully the cannons will do good enough I would imagine that having cannons would be quite powerful possibly the actual historical reason that things did not go very well for the Native Americans in the first place. Alright, we'll pull back from Austria. Boomity boomity boom. I guess one of my colonists is available now. Um, how far up north here can I actually colonize? Colonial range. Oh yeah, I could probably I probably could actually make it all the way up into 
here. Let me do that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to send my explorer up there after this war is done and get a look in the Caribbean. And then actually grab that land up there if I can't help it. So we're at 81%. Can I just get all their land? I will be able to get all of it as soon as I actually conquer them. These guys keep reinforcing here. Well, I might as well just rec straight up recruit some troops to make this go easier. I'd like to get both of these uh, countries down in one go. Hey, look at that. That's not bad. The colony is done. Um, to that end, let's keep... Let's try to connect these two, I think. That'll work. Maybe if I... Uh... <sighs> wow, really? That is, that is pretty awful. I mean, I, the tradition's not that bad. I mean, it's, yeah, it's only 17, but still. There we go. Jesus, that's much better. There, that should help. Eighty-five days until our troop is done. I'll put us exactly at unit cap as well. Hmm. Diplomatic tech cost. I think I'm gonna go with that. It's 10 years of it, and it's unlikely I'm going to really push my Diplo tech too much anyway. We're actually sitting on a glut of admin tech, or admin power, which doesn't happen very often, because usually you're using it to core a lot of things, but I haven't had to actually do that recently. Um, Alright, so let's see here. What else should I be exploring? I think I've already... I wish it would tell you which ones you've already explored. That would be nice. Um, did we... Okay, we did get to see South Georgia. This is South Georgia right there, so we want to head there as soon as we can as well. I may be within colonial range after I get these guys. I'm not sure. I think in the meantime, I'm going to save the military power and just kill off my explorer again. I got to see pretty much what I wanted to see. So we'll kick him out. I think I will go ahead and kill the natives here. Seventeen's quite a few. It's because they were going different directions, though. Dry lands too. Make sure that they're different. Make sure I'm not attacking into mountains because that would be bad. Yeah, a couple little cannons are definitely helping. Beating them up pretty nicely now. You guys can go back to being mothballed, save some cash. Really having to micromanage my finances a lot. I, I don't know if I've just had a tendency in the past to play countries that are fairly rich, but not this time around, that's for sure. All right, Diplos are sitting idle, and I don't like that to be going on. Not at all. I'm going to get a stack wipe here. Nope. Where are they headed to? They're headed to... There. Alright, let's see if I can't 
kill these guys off completely, permanently. Chase them down once and for all. They're not going to get a morale tick either, so this should be a permanent final stack wipe, I hope. No? Is this just, is this just not possible? Is it... I wonder if it's because I don't have... Like, do you have to have more troops to stack wipe? No, you don't. There, finally. Okay. Alright. I want to split off some troops here to make sure that I am going to get this back. And I'm going to separate piece out this guy, take his land, and then... Which actually, his, his war score may actually be... Yeah, it's probably enough to take his stuff. Oh, maybe not... No, because I don't have a fort yet. Got to have a fort. Always got to have a fort. Capital fort. All right, I believe I can now uh, drop my... I should... Ho hopefully I'll have enough guys there to siege this down even at um, minimum maintenance. Seven ducats a turn, man. That's not bad. Or a month, I guess I should say. Since I have all their land checkered, there's absolutely no way for me to do this. I wouldn't normally worry about separate piecing them because I want, I'm want i going to get all their land no matter what. But this allows me to steal all the money from Tupaniquam. And then Potiguara as well. And since I can, if I, you know, if I steal all their money, it'll help me out financially, obviously, quite a bit. So, let me pay off my last loan. Ottomans going in on Bosnia. France going against England. Interesting. France calling their allies or anybody? See if these guys are going to be busy for a little bit. Yep. They sure did. Oh, wow. So Castile and Portugal are actually fighting each other now. That's huge. Oh, and my little Rebellarinos are just making it happen. That is not bad, boys. I would love to see that flip. That would be amazing. I've never seen that happen before. Not first person, at least. All right. Um, siege is done, so let's piece these guys out, take all their, m oh my god, just guzzling up their ducats, that is not bad, uh, I don't think there's anything else I could possibly do, since all, since none of this is going to matter anymore, they're not going to exist, uh, we are assuming just for them, it's going to cost us no Diplo, mm. tasty, tasty land, and same thing here, I would love, absolutely adore, Taking not only your land, but all your ducats as well. Oh my god, just... Mm, yummy. Alrighty. This game is very quickly turning itself around. <laughs> I actually was honestly thinking that there's going to be years and years and years of things going extremely poorly. And while it has been some years of things going extremely poorly, I'm probably jinxing myself by saying this. Uh, let's repay our loan. Uh, I'm still a little optimistic that things are actually going to go uh, well enough. So let's core these. So what actually happened here? Okay, so it, it just goes back to being a colony. Okay. Okay, so I'll just send my colonists back there and we'll finish it off. I was kind of wondering about that. It has no natives, though, anymore. So there's that. Um, we do have two colonists. Okay, so here's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to grab the... I want to finish this off. Permanent CB against p primitives. That'll make this go a lot faster, actually. So we'll just polish that off. And then we're going to grab our... Let's grab our Admin Tech 7. And let us use that to get expansion ideas. Our next idea group after this is definitely going to be a military one. Likely naval ideas. Because I do want to start expanding that quite a bit. Okay, so just because I have a lot of money doesn't mean I necessarily want to start spending it aggressively because my army maintenance is still killing me. My overall maintenance in general is way high, so I still want to conserve the money I have, but at least now I have a pool that I can mess with. Another option actually would be to... Let's see if I can't get some good improvements that will help me out quite a bit. So like a really big tax booster would be nice. Uh, I could get 0.16 there. Maybe a production... Um, actually, which which of my provinces makes gold? Does one of them make gold? 
Ah, make gold. Okay. Base production plus point. So, really? So, hang on. Go back to the production interface here. Oh, pff, workshop cannot be built in the province that produces gold. Womp womp. That's unfortunate. All right, local trade power boost might not be a bad idea either. So let's do that. Let's invest a little bit here. I don't want to go too far over. Is there any other that will give me 0.16 ducats, or is it just that? Okay, so let's let's invest a couple here in the 0.13 ducats. And hope for the best. We still have a, a decent padding of... Actually, you know what? I need to make ships. And I can use this to help me make ships. Barks should theoretically pay for themselves. So we're going to use this cash to make barks. There we go. And we'll cancel before this. I believe if they start building, uh, you end up eating some of the, you end up losing some of the cash. In fact, they may have still lost some of the cash for doing that, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to have a lot of light ships that'll help us earn some more cash. They should hopefully pay for themselves. All right. I can't, I, I shouldn't get too cocky, but things are, things are getting better. They're not perfect yet by any means, but they are improving for sure. Okay. So we are going to send you... Uh, you're the one with our explorer. Okay, so I want to go here. I want to I want to verify that this is in fact Portugal, which I'm pretty sure it is. And then we're gonna send our guy down here and see how far colonial range wise it is to South Georgia. Because if I can just nab that right now, that'll be really nice to knock out one of those. That will be very nice. Um, let's see here. Ten years, or if my leader dies for some extra trade efficiency at the cost of monthly autonomy change or production efficiency at the cost of tax modifier. I think I'll, I think I'm going to do that instead. All right, um that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching guys. Uh this has been an interesting set of developments. I'm very anxious to see if I actually end up getting this land back. I wish there was a way to like Is there a way to get them over here to allow them passage over here? Cuz I don't know if I'm actually going to Get that or not. Uh, we'll figure it out later, though. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.